hey, this is not a spring chicken. We're back here in Southern California. One of the hot topics for today, I'm here with Old Camp, is censorship. And the reason this one's so hot is because it is totally getting ridiculous. You know we've been having videos up for a while, but here's our latest one. It was rated as adult for talking about choreography and music. And this was just, just sitting there chatting about it. Now that one, I really don't understand. Well, it's just... Uh the problem comes is that the more liberal the people you elect, the more censorship you have because they always censor in the name of censorship. Because they think what it is that they know more than other people what should be allowed. Yeah, but I mean, that one's ridiculous. I mean, that's not even close to. I, I still don't even understand that one. Well, no, it, it, just the way it works. I don't. I mean, okay. The, they're, everything is changing. Within the next few years, there'll be no viral video people left whatsoever because they can't figure out how to make any money off of it because they can't control the content. So what they do is uh, they let other people control the content for them. If somebody files a complaint, then they just yank you. And they say, well, there's people that they have people dancing naked on the thing. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I was looking at... Uh, other things, they got people dancing, you know, showing you how to do choreography in the nude. They have this, they have that. But what people understand is a lot of these people pay for the content that they have up. They're not doing it for free. So, but uh, so far I've got uh, no response from my site on Facebook, which what? is the uh, is, which is the directors of choreography and cinematographer side. But they are decrying. They probably don't believe it. I, did, I have a hard time believing it. Well, it seems so ridiculous. No, but that's how it works, though. They don't. Um, they don't have to have any real, ex uh, anything real, except for the fact that, you know, it has been reviewed and declared adult content in nature, and therefore must be removed. I know uh, uh, there's nothing adult content sitting at a table talking about choreography what you plan to do. So, but, yeah, it's like... I know, but they seem to... But what happened is, is that um, uh, people will also get you removed from viral sites by simply complaining a lot. It can be the same person filing a hundred complaints. I know. Don't they ever go back to those people that are doing all the complaining? No, they don't. That's the whole problem. They don't. Those people are... Because they don't post videos. They just have... Um, they sign up for YouTube, put an anonymous name on, and then they go to places that they don't like, and they'll have them revo re uh, removed by filing one complaint after another after another. So that's that's how you censor even more. So it's censorship. I mean, if you let censorship get in involved in things, basically you bring it in. But, but I, I think YouTube has gone like way to the other side. No, they're um, they're afraid of the. Okay, since uh, since Obama became president, their stock has fell by fifty percent, and they support his presidency. I know. And they figure if they want to stay in business. Somebody says boo, then they'll give in to them. Well, they're getting away from the. They're getting the. They have YouTube TV now, and uh, YouTube, um, and uh, they wanted Hulu, and Hulu wouldn't sell. So uh, Hulu wanted to sell, but the people that are involved in Hulu didn't want to be involved with uh, YouTube TV, uh, so uh, or Google TV. So uh, what it is is they're, they're, I mean, these are people that basically put a black stripe across their website on a day a week ago to show their, uh, you know, that they were unhappy with censorship. What it is, you censor to be unhappy with censorship. Like I was telling people, which they don't want to listen to, the fact that when I was younger, Hollywood had its left and its right. It's always had its left and its right. But the one thing that everyone agreed on was you can't have um, censorship because it destroys the industry. I mean, I, I was at Sundance, you know, uh, eating something, and I got some young filmmakers at Sundance that wanted to, me to sign a petition to support uh, support. Uh, nationalizing motion pictures and television and music in our country and theater so that we could so they could prevent censorship from happening by Republicans are you serious yeah do they understand how ridiculous that sounds no they said that they would then be able to be unfettered do the uh, do 
what is necessary to attack Republicans and big businesses and, and corrupt they were government. Really, they were serious. Right? Oh, they're serious. They were young people and totally serious about you must have nationalization in order to protect the, the, the freedom of speech. No. No. The, I mean, freedom of speech is something that is dwindling for everybody. And that if you don't, I mean, certainly YouTube, it's their sandbox. But I mean, like, we're, you know, we're, we're putting this stuff up on YouTube, folks, which means they don't like us anyway, so. But here's something that YouTube doesn't know. We now have our own, we have ability to post our own stuff on our own site. We have lots of gigabytes there, folks, so. If they balance us, they balance us, then mostly, they like to be, uh, they like to make it look like they're playing both sides against the middle, which is saying they're against censorship as they censor you. Mm -hmm. So funny, isn't it? But um, I know. Isn't that the irony of the world? It's just like a, a bigot assumes everyone else is bigoted and they aren't. No, maybe it's not their fault somebody else complained. That's why it was. Well, no, it's, it's not their fault that somebody does anything. It's not their fault that somebody puts mm -hmm. music up. I mean, I, mean I, I, I was looking today to uh, find the videos that were getting ready to get taken down off of another site. And I'm sitting there founding, I found the first video we ever had removed, we ever had censored, which was uh, you walking backwards in a cartoon. Oh, we, yeah. Uh, and uh, and they, they, uh, it was deemed as, um, as inappropriate content everywhere it was placed. I mean, totally everywhere it was I placed. I know. That one was cartoonized. I know. It was cartoonized. I was wearing a swimsuit and the cover-up. Yeah, and the wind was blowing, and uh, she was, <laughs> and, and, all you were doing was walking through a burnt out wooded area. I know. And I reversed it. And they said this was deemed inappropriate content everywhere. That one was a good one. I did like that one. I mean, it was shut off of Veal, it was shut off of Daily Motion, <laughs> off of YouTube, off of uh, Crackle. Uh, er, uh, every place that it was put, it was deemed inappropriate content. It was Anna, you know, what we did was we, Anna, we took and animated her as she's walking. I reversed it and put music to it, and, and, and everywhere that thing has been put, it has been deemed inappropriate. For what reason? I mean, that's, you know, it, it certainly is their, you know, they have a right to do things, but they also don't tell you why they consider it inappropriate. They just remove it, but guess what, since we now own our own, we now we're going to put it up on ourselves this evening, and so people can see what every viral video site in the country once said was inappropriate material. <laughs> so, I know. So we're not likely to remove it from ourselves. No. Nope. Complaints won't do any good. And 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 the place one of the places that we do business with basically host you know, they, they host, you know, like nudography and, and Chickapedia and things like that. Chickapedia? Yeah. That? But basically the hot naked chicks. So they're not likely to move that one, but that's are showing people about our contempt for their censorship. You put 21 seconds or something up. <laughs> that there was nothing. It was totally. I mean, that's something. That, okay, be, before the Democrats took it, control, it that would artistic. have been considered artwork. It, it was artistic. It was artistic. I mean, everything is covered and totally covered. It's not like something wasn't covered. But that's just the way it works. Censorship is. It's, it's rampant and going to get worse. Before the, I mean, they're wanting to shut down sites that are basically uh, anti-Obama. The Republicans want to set, shut down anything that is anti-Romney or anti, you know, actually it's all anti-Romney. You can be anti Ginrich all you want. Uh, you know, so, but um, it's it's getting worse. And, you know, we'll, we'll have more to say about this <laughs> as more things come off. Actually, probably another week when we lose... 498 videos. Yeah, you think it's going to be happening? Yeah, we know it's happening because people are grumping about things. You know, we're, we're, we're a massively big supplier of hits and we're still going to get taken down because of complaints. Okay. And they're almost all the same people making the complaints. But they don't, it's just everything's done by machine. Human beings do not touch anything. I mean, we have work that is, uh, we have, when we do written stuff, we have. Editors that are reviewing our material are actually computers. They're not human beings. I know. Because when you resubmit the same thing five times without making any changes in it, and it finally, now that you have finally did as the editor requested, no. <laughs> so, and that's the way it works because we should be, people no longer, uh, they no longer pay attention. So, <coughs> if you have machines doing the editing, 
that censorship and it's worse, well, I guess. I think that is kind of bad, isn't it? Yeah, so hear more about this topic and so until next time, so this is old Cam. Hey, you know what we didn't even get to? What? Editing of content based on your advertisers. Oh, oh, that, that one too, yeah. You can, uh, here's, how about getting written content approved quickly if the organization that you're selling it, that you're selling it to, or actually the organization you got to put it up, happens to have one of those people as a sponsor. Yeah. They really approve that real quick. You can get it approved in a matter of hours. And if it's not with one of theirs, then it, it, it doesn't. It's delayed and delayed and delayed, and then it doesn't work. Yeah, I mean, we've had uh, news items. We had things that were relatively important stuck in editorial hell, and then we discovered, well, yeah, they're one of their. Uh, they're heavily sponsored by the opposition. Mm -hmm. So they just buried it with the same, well, this is not something we would find of it, that our viewers would find of interest. Well, yeah, spells out how a company is completely changing the way it's doing business. That That's sort of important. So customers might like to know that the business model is totally changed on them. So, but... You know, we're going to do lots and lots and lots more before this is done. Because as life goes on, you can, there's one thing you can guarantee, there'll be more of it. Yeah.